What's up? My name is Max Rock. I just want to say thank you here for watching this video. Obviously, you're interested in looking at the Moto G4 here. Uh, and yes, the Moto G4 does have Lenovo or Lenovo or Lenovo. Lenovo? Lenovo? Who knows? They actually bought Motorola, but uh, still actually producing devices with the Motorola brand. I don't think they wanted to get rid of them or anything, but I don't really care about all that stuff. I'm just here to show you the phone. I actually had this phone for about two weeks now. Two, three weeks. Definitely a great phone. I just wanted to do an unboxing in case uh, someone never actually seen what's inside the box. Or if you've never seen an unboxing video. Or I just feel like making this shit because I got the phone. So anyway, this is the Moto G4. I got the white version here. And it comes uh, with 32 gigabytes of storage. Did you see that there? Let me see if it focuses. Come on, G-Stylo. Come on, G-Stylo. There you go. So I got the white one here, 32 gigabytes of storage. I'm not sure if there's a version, like a box with the actual white phone on it. That would have been great, but I'm not complaining. It's a goddamn box. So uh, let me show you the specs here. Moto G4, blah, blah, blah. 5.5 inch full HD display, so that's 1080p. Uh, I think it's 401, 403 pixels per inch. You got an octa core processor. It's a 617 um, Snapdragon. Yeah, 617 Snapdragon is Qualcomm. You got two cameras, 13 megapixel in the back, five on the front. And you got 4G LT speeds. Whatever. It just depends on what network you go on. I mean, I think all the networks got LTE now. But uh, you got a 3000 milliamp hour battery. And uh, this device does have turbo charge. Uh, so let me see. Anything else that I should say that you care about? Oh, it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Android. Duh. <laughs> so let me go ahead and open up this box here. Or reopen up, I should say. Show you what's inside this thing. Moto G4. This is G-Style little camera ain't that bad, huh? Let me see. Thing. It's, it's kind of it's trying to get a little focus in. So boom, there go the white phone. Blah blah blah. Like the I said, I had the white one. Do do do. It's the Moto G4 here. And as you can see, I got a tempered glass screen protector. Look at this here. And this is why. Is it gonna get that? No, they gonna be able to get it. Cheap ass phone. Let me stop. <laughs> but uh, if you could, let me see. Oh, there we go. You see that crack there in the tempered grass? I'm actually getting another one because, you know, this one cracked. I don't believe how it actually happened. I think I was on my bed and I was on my bed. I was playing with some other, one of my other phones. I think I was playing with the Z Max Pro or whatever. And this one just slid off the bed and uh, I had a, like a glass cup next to my bed. And so the corner of this, the, this right here, this part hits the edge of the glass. Just goes to show you never know what can happen. Always get a screen protector, always get a case for the phone. I got a couple over here. I'm gonna end up showing those in another video. Oh, you see me? I look at my reflection. Ba ba ba. <laughs> I'm tripping. So anyway, yes, this is the phone here. Got the speaker on top, front front camera right here, five megapixels as I said. It's the mic here for talking. I actually thought that was kind of a good idea because the phone is so big here. And if you ain't know what the last generation looked like here, I got that right next to me. So this is the Moto G3 right here. A little dimple on the back, dual LED flash, dual LED flash, dimple here too. Got a noise canceling the mic right here. Similar with these devices here, the headphone jack is in the middle. See that? All right, let's get this one out of the way. All right, yeah. You notice what I did here, right? I didn't even go in the goddamn box to show you what else was in here. Because I don't think nobody really cares about that. We just want to get straight into the phone. So, books and shit. We don't care. I think I looked at this one time, but that was just because it had colors and shit in there. So I'm like, oh, let me see what's in here. And then it just shows you the nano sim. Because this is an unlocked device. It's not uh, on any carrier. I'm using it on Metro right now. Who cares about that? Let's do that shit. So this is the actual turbo charging brick here. 
Obviously, it's dirty because I've been using that shit. But yo, this turbocharging is legit, bro. It is legit. It's the cable. And that's it. Nothing else in that box. It's very simple. Straight to the point. Which is kind of like how I like things. Alright, so close this thing back up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and power this thing up for you. In case you've never seen that, how it looks when it powers up. Give you a little look at that. Alright, boom. Little Android. Oh, 13 megapixel camera in the back. I don't have the, the plus model here. It's just the regular uh, 32 gig, 2 gigabytes of RAM uh, model that they got. No fingerprint scanner, as you can see. I promise my phone is not fucked up right here. It's just a screen protector. <laughs> so they go to little screen. There we go. Boom. I right, get this thing unlocked. It really is kind of difficult to mess with this shit behind the fucking camera. Alright, so let's see. So this is the screen. This is my little setup here. So see, we got the octa-core processor in here, as I said. This is the uh, USB charging port. Let me show you the back of the phone. Taking the back off. So boom, this is the back of the phone. Embedded battery, so you can't replace that. Um, this is the SIM card. That's the SD card that I got in there, 32 gig. This phone has adaptable storage. So let me show you what that is, in case you know. So when I say adaptable storage, that means I can throw an SD card in here and the phone would accept the SD card as internal storage. So as you can see, the phone does have 32 gigs. So you'll have available 25.38 to the user. Everything else is you being used by Android. So if you take that 32 gig card that I got in there and add it to the available space right here, you get 60, well, not necessarily you'll get that, but as you can see, I'm using 22.72 gigs or 72 gigabytes of space of the total 6124 that I would have available or so-called available because those numbers don't add up because 32 and 32, 64, whatever. Um, most of my space is being used on title because I got title here. Boom. Using on title. Got a couple videos on my phone. I'll do another video of my setup if somebody wants to see that there. But this is an old a re review of the phone here. It's saying you look at this thing. I just want to do a little quick unboxing. I'm getting used to these videos here. So you're going to have to work with me. Of course, as time goes on, it's gonna get better. And one thing I can say about this off the back, though, it feels amazing in the hand to me, especially for the price. Let me get out of this. So, let me see here. Yeah, if you ever got this phone, it will be right now. What you'll be looking at is put this, put this in the shot here. You'd be looking at about, what is it, $199 for the 16 gig model, and then you're looking at $229 for the 32 gig model. I actually got the phone, so it's been longer than freaking two, three weeks. I actually got the phone when Amazon had a deal going on where they take 50 bucks off at the checkout. I guess a lot of people didn't know that. Uh, when you ask, when you go to the checkout on Amazon, let's say you want to get the phone, it's $229. When you hit the checkout, they take off an automatic automatically take off fifty bucks. Now Best Buy had a sale going on where you can get it for one eighty nine and two twenty nine, but on top of buying the phone, they give you a fifty dollar gift card. I think it was with all models if you buy them. And that was like back when the phone first came out. I was one of those fans where I just couldn't wait, so I had to go ahead and get it on Amazon. Ended up buying a case for it. This shit dirty as hell now. Look at it. Shit filthy. But that shit look fly as hell, man. When I first got it, bro, that shit was fly as hell. Let me show y'all. Look at that. I think like right on it. It's dirty as hell now, though. But oh, trust me, it fits better. I gotta put it on right. But uh, yeah, that's the unboxing here. The Moto G4. 
And let me see here. If you want to see a size comparison, got the Z Max Pro right here. Yo, go cop this phone if you haven't, man. Go cop this phone. All right. Got it in the airplane because I don't want the notifications and shit when I'm shooting this video. But uh, yeah, see the size comparison here. The Moto Z, uh, the Z Max Pro here. Did I say the Moto Z? I'm <laughs> tripping. The Z Max Pro is six inches and this is five point five. So look. So you see the size comparison here. Look at the sun coming up. So you see it's a little bit taller here, but hey, still a pretty decent size phone. These are both fabulous here. But anyway, I'm talking too much. This fucking video is eleven minutes long. But I get ready to cut it off. So I want to say, uh, once again, thank you for watching this video. I am going to be doing a full-on camera test with this phone as well. Um, the review for the ZT Z Max Pro is coming. I just got to sit around and do it here because I want to make sure I get everything right. The other review I did, I didn't talk about the battery life and nothing like that. So I want to make sure when I do this second go-around with a different phone that I get it right. So, once again... Thank you for watching this video. My name is Max Rock, and you enjoy your day. Peace.